Good morning. This morning I want to tell you about a story f from the Old Testament. It comes from 1 Kings and it's about a prophet by the name of Elijah. E-L-I-J-A-H. Elijah was a man of God who was constantly having to defend God's power and God's goodness because Elijah lived in the middle of uh, people who were Canaanites and worshipped foreign gods. The story I want to tell you this morning is about Elijah and one day there was a drought. No rain was coming. All the brooks had dried up. And Elisha was thirsty and also hungry. So God directed him to go to a certain town called Zarephath. And there he told Elisha that a widow would give him something to eat and drink. So as he was at the town, Elijah did see this widow gathering sticks, and he asked her for something to drink, and she gave him something to drink, and then he said, how about a loaf of bread? And she told him that she only had a little bit of oil and a little bit of flour. Well, if you folks can see this little bit and this little bit, and if I mixed these two together, I do not think they would fill this pan. But Elijah tells her to go home and take the little bit of flour and the little bit of oil. Use that to make him some bread. And he promised that through God's miraculous power, that until the rain came again, she would have enough bread to feed herself and her son. So the lady did go home and did just as Elijah asked. And guess what? She had enough bread and oil to last until the rain came. And what I want us to take away from this today is just as God made the miracle happen in this story of Elijah and the widow, so God can also do the miraculous in your life and in my life. Sometimes those little miracles might be really small, but sometimes they are very large. Expect miracles and God will provide. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you are indeed a God of miracles. We ask that you would continue to shine in our lives, that your light will fill us with hope and courage and confidence, that you indeed will give us miracles in our lives. May we, with open hearts and open minds, Look for your spirit at work. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Have a great week.